Hello to each and every one of you Doctor Who fans, and I can understand why you're a Doctor Who fan. Guess what? I'm a Doctor Who fan, and I've just been talking to Ellie Collins, this wonderful lady that has spirited the joy of Doctor Who across our wonderful, at the moment, frozen planet. My name, in case you're interested, is John Levine. I had the luck of playing Sergeant John Benton in unit opposite two of my favorite men of my whole life, Patrick Troughton and John Pertwee. And alongside, of course, was the stunning Katie Manning, to whom her friendship and my friendship has lasted this whole 50 years. We still call each other, we still love each other in that Doctor Who way. So there is something I'd like to say to all of you. I'm in my mid-70s now, and I've seen a lot of bad stuff, and I've seen a lot of good stuff. But the good stuff is backed by things like Doctor Who and people like Ellie Collins and all of the people that take Doctor Who to their heart. Because after all, listeners and viewers, it is good over evil, isn't it? And at the moment, we can't call the virus evil, can we? Because viruses like the humans, we all have to feed and live on something. It's just a little sad that it's feeding and living on us. But just to let you know, there will be a time when the virus disappears, but sadly, of course, I have to say as an older person, it will come back and it will be more deadly. So do not let us forget the power of something we cannot see. We also must remember the power we can see. And that's the performances of John Pertwee and Patrick Trident and William Hartnell in the show you're going to be watching tonight. The three doctors was right question one of the favorite times of my entire life, and I will tell you now boldly why that was so. I had no training as an actor or as a voice man. I had no theater, no nothing. I was a menswear salesman in Regent Street in London when I was offered a job as an extra to play a Yeti and a Cyberman. Guess what? In a show called Doctor Who. But it wasn't until about a year and a half later when the biggest director that we love and admire right to this day Mr. Douglas Canfield, whose son, John Canfield, I'm still in touch with on a monthly basis. It was Douglas Canfield that came up to me just as I was taking off one of my costumes. And he said, you're John Woods, aren't you? And that, ladies and gentlemen, as you might know, is my real name. I was born John Anthony Woods, 1941, Christmas Eve, five minutes to midnight. But there was already a very famous Shakespearean actor named John Woods. So he took my name away. So that's how I ended up with John Levine. So to bring this little message to a close, I cannot thank you enough for loving the show that I put my heart, my soul, my emotions, and all of my energy in. All of the fans that know John Levine will tell you that I'm overly sensitive. I cry too much for a unit soldier. But guess what? Crying is the most powerful antidote to most of what's going on. This separation, this social distancing, we have to do it, otherwise the human race could actually disappear. Sounds like a new story, doesn't it, for Doctor Who? So look, I better close now, although I'm hoping you will enjoy hearing a voice of someone that was in the show that you're going to be watching tonight. I phoned Katie Manning up to let her know it was on, because I don't. I think Katie travels a lot, and she might not know that it's being watched across the world. All I can say again is I cannot thank you enough for loving us, and we love you back. We love you back because you have stayed with us for 55 years of Doctor Who. So this is John Levine. This is Sergeant Benton of Unit saying, I love you all. May God help us through this problem we're with. And don't ever stop watching The Doctor. Goodbye, all of you. Goodbye. <laughs>